Whoa, the noise. Joyful celebrations in Australia and Denmark. Queen Mary of Denmark was born in Tasmania, which is the smallest state of Australia, yet it is 59% larger than the whole of Denmark. Think about it. Think about a tiny little dot on the map in northwestern Europe and a tiny, slightly bigger dot at the arse end of the world at the bottom of Australia, just near Antarctic. I can never say Antarctic. <laughs> Glorious celebrations today. Um, I just posted a video on uh, the only Danish uh, so-called uh, prog rock album, the only Danish album record I have. Um, then I thought, hang on, her maiden name is McDonald. Well, on the DNA thing, I'm 25% Scandinavian, but I'm also about the same amount Scottish. So if she's Scottish and the Queen of Denmark, that means... You know, I sort of feel like, I don't know, I feel a, a fond affection for this tiny little dot on the map somewhere up there. And I've been there. It was my favourite city. I was there in 78. And I love Copenhagen. Straight away, I just went, this feels like the rocks in Sydney. You know, where the Harbour Bridge is on Sydney Harbour. You've got all the old um, windy alleys and things around there. The rocks, it's called. R-O-C-K-S. And uh, as soon as I went there, I thought, wow, this is just like, you know, the rocks in Sydney. So God bless Queen Mary of Denmark. And uh, while we're on the subject of Carl Pepper's Orchard, um, I, I remembered I had this hanging up in the, uh, the kitchen. And this is where she came from, the Queen of Denmark came from. <clears throat> Tasmania, previously known as Van Diemen's Land, which I much prefer. Um, and of course, the other thing is, oh, is this serendipity? Is this, um, what is going on here? Culpepper's Orchard, the only Danish record I own. Now there's an Australian Queen of Denmark and Tasmania is famous for one thing and one thing only. Apples. Beautiful, lovely apples. I wonder if Culpepper's Orchard is full of apple trees. <laughs> That's Danish sense of humour. Whiskey dear.